So there's actually a very simple answer to this. This user says, the more interesting question to me is why a sourced file does not need its executable bit set. We're talking about sourcing a file in like the bash shell. I'm sure this would apply to other shells too, like even POSIX shell or Z shell or whatever. I love sourcing probably because I'm lazy. Hey, listen, that's all That's all well and good there. I think that's great. You're doing code reuse. Uh, that's a fantastic thing to be doing there. When you source a file in your shell, your shell that's already running, that process that already exists on your system, opens that file and then reads all the contents of the file, executing itself each line of that file. When I say executing, I do not mean your kernel is creating a new process or becoming a new process. I mean that your shell that's already running, that your operating system has already started for you, that already exists, is reading line by line as though you were sitting there typing it. It's reading it from the file no different than if you were sitting there typing all that stuff in. It's already running. Because it's already running, it doesn't need to be executable. The program was already executed. I was going to say exact, but the, the program was already executed. The program was already running. What program is running? Bash. In this example, let's use a Bash script. Uh, the Bash program is running, typically, you know, like bin Bash or user bin Bash or wherever it lives. That program is running. That program needs to be executable. But any files that are sourced from that, they don't need to be executable. They just need to be able to be read by your current process that's already running. Because the executable bit on the file system is for your operating system. When I say that, I mean your kernel to be able to execute that program. That's what that bit means when it's set on a file. Um, it has different semantics when it's set on a directory. It would typically be called the search bit, whatever. Let's not get into that. So my point is, if you want to source a bash script, you just need to be able to read it if you already have an executed bash script, the shell that's currently running, that's it already is running, your operating system's already executed it, it can read other data and run that like it's actual code. Also, here's a fun little fact for you. If you have a bash script, you don't need the executable bit on it to execute it with bash. You can call bash space the name of your script. That script does not need to be executable because it's not being executed. Technically, bash is being executed. Bash is run with a single argument. That single argument is the name of a file, which is your bash script. So when bash runs by your operating system, it will look at that single argument and then read all that data and execute each one line by line on its own. When I say execute, I mean run in its current shell. This word definitely gets, I mean, we've, we've conflated so many meanings around it. The word execute can get kind of difficult to talk about. So the executable bit on your file system is so your operating system, your kernel, can run a program. Anything that happens beyond that in the world of shell script, that's just up to Bash's own semantics. Doesn't have to worry about what's set in your file system. It just needs to be able to read the file. That's it. So yeah, kind of meandered there. Hopefully I explained it.